You've heard a lot about condo conversions in the District of Columbia, and you're wondering, what is the process? My name is Deirdre Brown. I'm a settlement agent serving the District of Columbia, Maryland, and Virginia. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the condo conversion application process. First, you have to determine, is the property eligible to be converted? The District of Columbia first looks at, is the property vacant? If the property is vacant, you will file for an exemption. If it was not vacant when you purchased the property or has tenants now, you have a few more steps that we need to take in order to get the property approved to be converted. The next step is to work with the office of the surveyor. Your architect is going to provide your plots and plans. These documents are needed to request zoning approval and zoning variance if needed. You're going to submit the condo conversion registration, which is basically the application. This is not a one page application. It is a binder where you have all types of documents, legal documents, as well as documents describing the condominium conversion project. You will need either a title company or a real estate attorney to help you with this binder. The District of Columbia has up to 60 days to review your registration, and if they prove it, the very last step is you will be assigned a new tax square and lot identification numbers for each unit of the project. At this point, you are able to sell the property to the public. If you want more information about the condom conversion process, please download our free guide at lexicontitle.com.